So how often do you go to the grocery store? I am. Three, I go all the time. I do too. I'm at least, my lowest would be three times a week, but I am five, five times a week. Do you want to go ahead and get a yeah, car? Yeah, absolutely. Let's get one. I'll get a, I'll get a smaller one. You okay, get the bigger one. Perfect. I'll throw this guy away. All right, off we go. I do like organic. I have to say my produce, I try and get organic, guys. So organic, organic, organic. I am a biggie on that one. And do you guys like, know, do you guys know that cilantro is one of the best metal uh, me uh, mercury detoxifiers on the planet? So mercury is and so I high. Eat so much fish. You can do a so lot of fish. much cilantro. And if you and if you're doing if you're do, eating a lot of fish and you have you have old mercury fillings, it's really very important to make sure you're not getting an overdose of the mercury, which will cause gut issues, which will cause weight issues, will cause acne issues. Um, so cilantro. Try even putting cilantro into your smoothies. Um, it's delicious. Oh, so. One of the things that I always do is I always get so one good. of these coconuts. Yes. I ask them to go ahead and take the juice out for me, and then I crack this whole thing That's open so and good. eat it. It's so delicious. That's so good. Green apple. What about honey? What is your opinion on honey, honey? I like honey, but I like it in its, in its raw state. I like it. Um, a, you do a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. So a little uh -huh. bit of honey is okay. Like but this honey right here that you see. You want to get local to help you with the allergies. So would um, you say, you know, I local. heard, I've heard people say that them taking a teaspoon of raw honey, their allergies it are, does work. It it's does help. unbelievable it on does, the allergies. It does, it does help. So when we go to the aisle down there, I'll definitely show you some of my favorite honey, but I love it. I love this section, the bulk section. I do a lot of my nuts and seeds in here. I'll buy my chia seeds here a lot of the times and my, uh, flax seeds. I'll do a lot of um, the, my bulk shopping. Where is the quick. chia seeds? Chia seeds. They have moved things around. Here we go. These are the magic seeds. The chia seeds, and they're they're organic. Um, you've got the hemp seeds, and you got flax seeds. I like to rotate these. I like chia seeds because they do have the higher fiber. But I love doing these as well in my smoothies. So I'll mix it up. Sometimes I'll do two tablespoons of chia seeds and one of hemp or two of chia seeds and the flax seed. You have to grind the flax seeds to get the good, the good juju inside. So make sure you're grinding it up. One thing that I think that, um, that they have here that is out of this world, I don't know why it's so good, is their shrimp, shrimp. cocktail. Oh, they, yum. they have the most amazing shrimp. Mm. It is absolutely delicious here. Yum, yum. They have the best shrimp. I love okay. it. Okay, so olive oil. That's my big, I love olive oil. Never cook with olive oil. You always want to use it in its raw state. Okay. Um, you want to get it in a so dark. So you don't, you, want, you don't cook don't with cook olive oil. Don't cook with olive oil because it's oh, not wow. a stable oil. You need a stable, high fat, like a, like a coconut oil. Or, oh, wow. I or cook with olive oil, oil all the it time. It turns rancid, which causes more inflammation, which therefore causes other arrays of different, you know, problems. So a dark bottle. Hmm. You want to get this over that because that's in a dark bottle. The sun, a light can desense it, can, can actually, um, can cause harm to it, causing the inflammatory process to kick off in your body. So huh. don't skimp on your olive oil. Don't have to buy a $40 bottle, but don't get the cheapy, cheapy. Let me grab that Bragg. I, I love Bragg products, don't you? I do, Bragg's are amazing. So I really um, am big on so them. So don't skimp, don't, don't buy any fat products in a, um, in a plastic jar. You wanna always buy so them. So when you're in, cooking and make then. Make sure you're buying them in, um, glass. Coconut okay, so oil. buy it in a glass. So I use a lot of coconut oil every day in my smoothies and my coffee. I'll cook with it. Um, you don't want to go over, you know, three to four tablespoons a day. That's a little too much, obviously. But you start slowly putting a little bit into things, and you'll start to see a difference in your skin, your hair, your metabolism. I use coconut so oil coconut like crazy. Coconut oil. This is, is not a bad. It's not. Not too bad for how big of a jar it is. So coconut oil is antifungal, anti-inflammatory, and antiviral. So let's talk about this for just a second, because I've been cooking with olive, olive oil this whole time. Yeah. What other oil would you suggest that I cook with? If I'm not going to cook with the, yeah. which what would do you like? So the avocado oil is a good stable oil. Okay. Uh, that's a good one. I would try. I would I would go through those two. Try those first. Which one? The, uh, the avocado, avocado oil, and what else? Avocado and then you do the, the uh, coconut. And, yeah, the coconut. Um, if I do some ground beef, we had tacos for my daughter's 18th birthday on Monday, and we got this beef, and it's organic, USDA organic. It's grass-fed. You want to make sure your meat is grass-fed. 
That means it's going to have more omega oils and will be fed the grains, which will cause your insulin to spike, therefore have metabolism problems. You want to stick with always grass-fed. Right here, we'll see. You'll see the seal, the USDA organic is excellent. You'll see the organic. I, do, I buy this a lot, and I'll make it a chicken salad all the time, once, twice a week. I also make wings. I'll do baked wings all the time. And I'll, go, I'll get home uh, starving at 3 or 4 o'clock. I'll snack on a few wings. What about the eggs for you? Which one are you going to choose? I will do pasture-raised. And again, organic. I know I'm saying organic, organic. And again, it's, it's a little more expensive, but I feel like you're making wise choices and not paying for it later. You know? yeah. So I'll get so the So the difference raised. between the pasture raised and just like, because it, it obviously just, even these, so, so here over here, if you look, like here's large, like the large brown yeah, eggs are anywhere from $3 to $4. Yeah. Like here's large brown eggs, $3. But then here's the, the pasture raised, raised. So that's seven dollars. So that's well, that's a, that's a that big is, difference. That is. So it, especially for someone who's got a big family and they're eating that's true. a big I mean, you're amount. You're doing of better eggs. doing organic eggs. The reason is this so is this just, one. Why? What is the difference between pasture raised, raised versus? Because these say these are cage free. Cage free, so, but plus with outdoor access, meaning they just open up their cages. Is uh -huh. what that what that kind of means. It's a okay. code word for just basically let that just all that is. But so they're in. So the chickens are in the cage. They the let door. them open open at the certain times. And they can maybe let. I mean, I'm in most cases that that is what's happening. So this right here is tendered by hand on a small farm, and yes. then these chickens basically can do whatever they want. And they have more. <laughs> they're happier. It means you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna have happier eggs. eggs. Yes. So yeah, that happier eggs means happier guts for the people who are eating the yeah. eggs. So well, if you're gonna do milk, do you do like whole milk or two percent or what are you doing? If you are gonna, if people, I don't do dairy, but if people want to do dairy for just, their kids, if the their kids, kids want milk, you know, kids depending on the age, two percent to full milk depending on the full full fat milk depending on their age um, just make sure it's quality just make sure it's good let's talk about this to me is just crazy like looking at mm -hmm. All the this the ingredients I'd like to really zoom in on these and you talking about the yeah. ingredients here on yeah on here so. so what I don't like about this one it's got natural flavors which is a form of MSG which is not your friend for health. Um, so you want to find a different brand, in my opinion, not to just completely crush Blue Diamond, but just the saying that um, you want to read the labels. They're not going to. Well, they're, you know what? They've actually changed their label here because they used to have carrageenan in this, they and they must out. have taken it out Good. because Carrageen so will, many people had complained had about, about it. That. Carrageenan is basically a additive they use to help. Uh, with taste and it's a almost a filler type of thing as well um, but it was upsetting everyone's stomach causing other issues the 365 brand does not have carrageenan in it that's great i have already looked at it i already know it doesn't okay. it can be um, confusing but it does have the sunflower lecithin what do you Le think lecithin. about lecithin lecithin lecithin, lecithin. lecithin. It's, it's hard. It's, uh, and right here it says contained soy which is yeah. um so let's see where it, yeah, I wouldn't. Like locust bean gum. Like that just, that clogs up your. It does. It's not your. Clogs it's you not, up. But it's not as bad as the carrageenan. But I'm telling you guys, just try one new thing each week, meaning you try making your, making, sorry, making your, um, your almond milk. It really, it seems overwhelming. Everyone's so busy. It really takes 30 seconds to make it. Um, the honey, you want to pick, I like the raw, organic honeys. Um, a little bit once in a while does, is, is okay. Like in a cup of hot tea. You need a little sweet. Uh, so this is a brand that you really like. I do, and Manuka honey is one of the oh, yes. one of the best honeys, and that actually oh, yeah. will help so, with the candy. Yeah. So I talked about this in one of my episodes. Oh, good. So take a look at that. So the raw Manuka honey is supposed to. I've seen studies on it yes. of how healing it is. But if you look at that small jar, look it's at it. Expensive. It's between thirty-five and thirty-seven dollars. It's medicine. It's, it's, it's medicine. That is medicine. That it's, is. I'm sick right now. Yes. I need to get healed. I'm gonna have a, a, a little some bit of that. that. So that's what we I'm have that on hand. No, yeah. we have it on hand, and if we have it, it lasts forever. But I will take. This is expensive yes. too. Eleven ninety-nine. You can. These are all good. The neem honey. These are all good too. Mm -hmm. uh, you're looking for the raw. I like when you're saying organic raw. The enzymes are going to be alive in it. That's the secret to. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So this helping. is actually almost double that. So mm-hmm. oh, okay. it's a um, non-caloric sweetener um, that won't raise your insulin. So sometimes in my cup of coffee or my, my chia seeds, I'll use, I love this. This is a good one. This is a, a little bit goes a long way. So one drop is all you really need or two drops. Um, you can try that with replacing some of the sugar in your diet, especially if you have candida. It will not cause cal- uh, candida issues. Perfect, yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah. This brand right here, Simple Mills, is one of my absolute yeah. favorite They're brands excellent. right here. Yes. They're naturally gluten-free. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are just made with almond, almond flour. flour. Exactly. And they are really, really good. So I mean, when I say really, that, there's nothing I in know. it. And you can, if you can pronounce everything, that means your body won't be able to digest it. Yes, so that entire line, we'll Simple Mills. i tonight, actually. Yeah, it's delicious. Uh, a good little dessert or little yeah, snacks Yeah, I, I literally children. yesterday bought every one of those. You did? Yeah, <laughs> every great. one from it's that a, brand. It is a great company, I have to say. That's really good. What about peanut butter? Let's talk about peanut okay. butter and almond butter for just a second. I like almond butter a little bit better than peanut butter because peanuts are a legume um, and they have a lot of fungus usually on them. Most nuts do, but peanuts takes the case. So I do like almond butter, but if you're feeding a large family, go for organic peanut butter. I know I keep saying organic and don't roll your eyes, but it actually is a bit, really important for peanut butter. Um, but for the parents possibly, you can do the almond butter. And it is a little more expensive, but you can find ones that so are not going to be here's crazy. Here's an almond butter that's creamy, but I, it's not organic. I don't even um, see an organic. They're down almond here. Butter. Um, and you're talking, uh, you know, some some money here. We've got some that are ten. It's not organic, but I like this company. So that means they're, it's going to be better quality. Wow! Look at that price difference. I that's know. twenty-three dollars for a jar. I know. It that's gets crazy. Unbelievable. It is. It, that's but crazy. This, and that's you know, I'll, I'll get this. This will last me a long time. And mm-hmm. I'll, I'm not going to use it every day, obviously. Yeah. Um, but peanut I'm just butter get is the fine. Regular almond yeah. Butter. I think I'll. You'll be fine. You'll yes. be fine. These I would say I if wouldn't. you are, if you're, you have no gluten issues at all. And gluten's not a problem the for you. These are great breads. This bread right here it is, is delicious. It's good. You're right. If you are not gluten intolerant, yeah. all of these, and I will tell you, the yellow one is my favorite. I love this one. This one is good. No, but I do like the coconut water in a pinch, getting some of these. Um, and see, the thing for me, I can't drink any of those. There's only one brand I can drink. It's on my site at Chantal Rayway, and they don't sell it here. I can't drink that because once you drink that, taste that for just a second. No, it's a whole different baby. It, it's I a mean, whole different ballgame. Is that ball not game. just the it best thing? It is. Oh it is my a different gosh. thing. In a pinch, though, I will get those. Um, especially after working out, that will help. Or 3, 4 o'clock, that little time where you could be hungry, I'll do one of those, too. Let's talk about, because remember we talked about my drinks. That yeah, I and like. I was like, if you oh. are going to have a drink, no to have a cr- cranberry. Unsweetened. But they do have unsweetened cranberry get, juice. You know, pure tart cherry, not from concentrate, Ooh. but it's 24 grams of Still, sugar. There's 24. Sometimes they won't have it usually here of the wine without the sugar. See, this has got the 11 grams. Um, Let's see this one. Yeah, 11 yeah. is still it's too, high. Juice is just really just a soda, I have to say, <laughs> unless you're doing it juicing yourself. I would be careful of that. I yeah. love, I love, love sprouted quinoa. The sprouting process will help it to open up the enzymes, the beauty of the food. So I really do like Ooh. the sprouted. I get sprouted lentils. I'll get this to, I get this a lot, and I'll make my own bone broth. Where well, I'll I'm gonna have, get some of that. I'll sprout. make easily, I'm, you know, make. I'm bone not broth. eating quinoa right now, just yeah. because I'm. Doing it's a, so good for you, but I just am not yes. eating it right well, quinoa, at this moment. Yeah, quinoa is a complete but protein. I love quinoa. So this will be a great thing to do once we're for dinner. You do these two combination, add some avocado on the side. That you see. I'm a big ghee girl. What? I like the ghee. Ghee. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I like ghee. What ghee is, it's just, clar- it's just clarified butter and the lactose has been um, taken out. So anyone that's dairy sensitive or have issues with lactose, you can have ghee. It's just basically a soft butter. It's delicious. I love the coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. You won't, you won't you can tell so the difference. So do you like the liquid aminos, the Bragg, or do you like these? Uh, either one, they're both good. That's a good company too. I like Bragg's across the board. They have great things, but either way is fine. Mm-hmm. Perfect, I'm gonna get okay. some of this. I cook with that a lot. I do, I do. We also get the rice noodles down here um, and make some is you know, there any of these noodles. salad dressings that you'll eat or I do you do. just make all your own? No, I will make my own a lot. 
because the apple cider vinegar and olive oil, because that's when you want to make sure you're getting a tablespoon of olive oil a day in mm -hmm. its natural state. That's fat burning. It's going to be just help you heal the gut. Um, but um, so I will sometimes, again, use the Braggs. Where is that? They do have it. Oh, here it is. I love these. These are delicious, delicious. The Braggs vinaigrette. Yes. Um, mm, for my I'm kids. I'm going to try that. Yeah. Check Here, the this sugar. is one, a ginger and sesame. Have yes. you tried that one? I have. That's the one I was going to get today. I this one, to the, the yeah. ginger and sesame? Yeah, let's look at the sugar. So I have three grams of sugar for two tablespoons. That's that's good. Mm, okay, I'm okay. going to get it. Have you tried, which one, do you like that one as well? I have. My mom likes this one, and that has got two grams of sugar, so that's even lower. Mm. I'm going to um, get both of them. It's got the coconut liquid aminos in it. It's got apple cider vinegar obviously in it, like salt and pepper, good healthy salt, uh, extra virgin olive oil, I love these. Let's Ezekiel talk about bread. the bread. Ezekiel, I love I love that orange Ezekiel bread yes. right there. That one is my favorite right here, but I can't, it's because it has gluten in it, I just yeah. try to avoid it. So if you have Which celiac, one of those? You, can't do, you can't do the Ezekiel bread, but if you, um, it has the sprouting process, um, these are sprouted, or the gluten is destroyed almost 99 percent so it's you can still eat it it's it's a tricky little thing but if you're celiacs or grain sensitive i wouldn't do too much of it that what about and hummus i do love hummus that's a great little snack or add it to your salads add it to your quinoa whatever it is that's a great i do like chickpeas they're great for you it's fine to do that um and it's tasty so i think it's good to have a little spicy one too to help it helps wake up your taste buds a little bit. Oh, these <laughs> chips right these here are, are to die for. They they're are. paleo, they're grain free, and they're I delicious. like I eat them. Eat I have to be too. careful with those because I can get a little yeah. I can get a little crazy. I literally what I have to do is I have to buy like I did the other day. I bought yeah. a bag, ate a few, and give it away right yeah. away. <laughs> if it's in the vicinity yeah. of me, I'm Yay. not gonna be doing too good. But when you have chips, make sure you add some fat to it. Either have some you know, guacamole with it and some salsa or a few nuts to kind of counterbalance the, even though it's grain free, it's still a carb. So you want to be able to have a balance there. And what is the saying, highest that you, you feel like you can eat on the dark chocolate? I go, yeah, 72% and above. I definitely yeah. am stickler. So we had, a, we had Dr. Mark Scott on. He says he loves 90%. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. I can hardly do 70. Okay. It's like, I don't love it. You know, it here's it. one. Here's one. I haven't tried this dark chocolate with raspberries. That sounds like it might be delish. Mm. Let's see. Here. Uh oh. Um, no. Mm. And it goes back. My children love these. Now, these are mm. dark chocolate little cups. Almond butter cups? Mm -hmm. Ooh. And they will do that. And they they love that. And it's decent. Now are you ingredients. eating this at all? Once in a while I will do it. Mm -hmm. I am. I have to say that's a little treat. I'll do one of these a day. You know, it's mm -hmm. a little bit of chocolate. Mm-hmm. Uh okay. Um, I love this brand right here. I love this Enjoy Life. I haven't seen these. They yet. have these rice milk crunch. Um, and if you look on the back. It says free from wheat, mm -hmm. peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, casein. I mean, free of everything, but it's absolutely delicious. So if I really want something, this is really a good one for me. I love okay. these. I'm going to grab one today. This is a continuous question that we get all the time on the podcast is about Oops. the probiotics. So yes. let's talk about that for a second. This is going to show I these. I know. Hi here. We're cramming it. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Um, I do like this. It starts a good one to start off with. If you're not a big probiotics person, it's a good one to start with. I do like this one. Um, I really do like this one a lot. So the, the, the Ultimate Flora 50 billion is a great one to start with. Twice a day would be great. Oh, um, and it's on sale. Yay! Oh, it is. That's great. Um, I used to like these guys, but I think they sold the company. So I have to check that out a little bit more. Um, I do believe children need to get on a probiotic. So I would um, I would consider getting them on a probiotics for sure. So like, if you that. look at this, which is kind of weird, if you if you see like this, this yeah. probiotic says adult 50 plus. Yeah. Here it says extra care. This one has women's vaginal. Uh -huh. um, then it has colon care, which I think I'm going to get that colon care one. <laughs> Um, make sure you all that things we talked about today 
I'm gonna get that one. Absolutely. Because and that one's the 80 billion. Excellent. So they're just uh, so like I guess my question is is like. What's the difference between this, which is the women's vaginal, yeah. versus the, like these yeah. are both fifty billion, but it depends it's just on a what different, str strand. different strains mm -hmm. there are. So that's that's important. It's a good. Like I said before it's good to switch up your uh, your probiotics with the brands and the um, and the uh, actual doses. Um, I do like the acidophilus. Where is the acidophilus? That's a good one to also take. I don't see it. That's a good thing to remember taking that as well once in a while. That's a different type of um, different type of um, probiotic to help, obviously, keep your system ready to rock and roll. I'm trying to look for it right now. Okay, I love flax oil. Uh, I do think that uh, taking a tablespoon a day of that could so be very, that very helpful. Would be good for you to go poop. Very much that, and it's good for hair, hormone uh, health. It's mm. excellent. So it's something I love to do. Um, I'll do that not every day, but I'll do it a few times a week, making sure I'm getting enough fat in my diet to keep everything running smoothly. That's mm. a biggie. So let's talk about these omega threes. Yeah. Which ones do you use, and which ones do you like? I love the Nordic Naturals Ultimate Omegas. What you're looking for, guys, is you're looking for the EPA and the DHA to equal a thousand. That's the secret. You're making sure you're getting enough of those good. Uh, mega oils to make a difference in your system. So that's so a big So here's key. one that's omega two times, and then that one's ultimate omega. Okay. So talk about the difference between this ultimate omega, the two times, Versus. and the ultimate omega D3. Okay, let's look at it. Let's see what they're doing here. So it looks like it was almost the same with EPA. Really, I'm not quite sure why this is different. This I think maybe this more. is just smaller. It is. They're smaller. They're two, they're is. mini, so they're easier to swallow. And then That's you've it. got this one, which I love, that has the D3 added to it. And what is the D3, and what does that help D3, with? D3. So you got your vitamin D3. How much D3 is a thousand? Okay. So so it just has vitamin D bit. along with the yes. omega. Yes. You so you don't always have to take, take your D with a fat. It's a fat soluble vitamin. You want to take it with some fatty meal. You want to take it um, uh, with other fat soluble supplements. So here's the, the chia seeds as well. Yeah, um, sometimes but they have it. Actually, if you look, this pre-bagged looks like it's cheaper than even over there. So that's great. Um, then grab that. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab some and I'm, I'm running out myself. So you know this maca powder. Everybody, yes. it's really getting popular it is. now. Everyone's like maca, you know, yeah. maca shakes, maca yeah. powder. What, what is the benefit it's of a, that, and what are you using it incredible for? Incredible for balancing your hormones for, for females, especially. Oh, I better grab yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. But then it's also it helps the energy. So after you work out, great to have a little maca thrown in your smoothie. It would help you to boost your oxygen levels in the body to be able to help uh, exercise better and to be able to reap the benefits better of the um, of the workout. So I love that. They also have maca in the supplements, which I like too. But it actually tastes really good. It's like caramel, the caramel taste. I love that in my smoothies once in a while. Okay. So let's talk about these super, super green greens. powders that you talked about. Yes. Um, and this kale. I will tell you one thing that makes me feel like a million bucks, and I need to buy some right now for my first smoothies, mm -hmm. is that spirulina. Yes, spirulina. Is a blue green algae. Now, actually, like this this brand so better. So these right here are just pills, right? They are. But I, 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 I so what is your opinion on taking the pills versus the powder? Whatever way you want to get it in. Yeah, oh, because okay. I love just this. Get it in. But guys, this is my favorite brand on the planet because uh, I can't believe they're selling this here. Uh, this is a very very good brand. And um, the spirulina, you have to be choosy on which spirulina you're getting. So this is a good one. Okay, grab this me is, one. It's a powder. Do you want it now? <laughs> Do you have power? Yeah, I'll take it. Um, yeah. I love that one. Um, and it'll be a, curious to see what my bill is at the end. This is right? also a great band, a brand for all supplements. I love, I love them. They're excellent. I also use this at night sometimes, um, which is golden milk, turmeric, 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 and that's the anti-inflammatory. I put this um, in a little bit of my homemade almond milk, I heat it up at night with a little touch of stevia or raw honey, and that is delicious, and it could be like a little dessert after dinner, a little, a little um, soothing hot beverage. 
Mm. Um, and I, I do that a lot. Um, so let's talk about protein powder for just a second because um, with this protein powder, um, you know, there are so many chemicals. It is yes. out of control. Do you have to be careful? With them. So if you had to pick one of these, which would be your favorite of the protein powders? So I like um, the Sun Warrior. Um, those are plant-based. Uh, it's a plant-based company. Whey will be smoother. Do you like of the a natural or vanilla? Vanilla. I'm a vanilla girl for sure. Vanilla will taste taste really good. Um, and can, it's 27 grams of protein. Per, yeah. um, That's pretty good. So I like Sun Warrior a lot. If you're, if you're going to do whey, a lot of men benefit from whey after they work out. So the whey protein, if you're doing a whey protein, would be, I like this whey. It's grass-fed. There you go, the buzzword, grass-fed. I like that they, um, everyone's I've usually- I've tried that Tara's way. It doesn't taste as good. It's not as good as the other ways. It's, I mean, some other old ways. The other way, this way- Wait, to be the one that I just bought, that Warriors blend, wasn't whey, correct? No, it's okay, plant-based. I don't do. No. Um, here is the collagen powder that I love. That's the Bulletproof band brand we're talking about. I love, um, I do love collagen for nails, hair. Also collagen helps with complete gut reconstruction. It kind of is like the mart martyr to the side of your intestines to help helping uh, clean up and help heal the leaky gut stuff. So I love. So this is the one you like? Yeah. And I like, um, I like this to add to your smoothies or your coffee. It's tasteless, odorless just blends up really quickly and easily. So I love that one. Okay. okay All right, anything about vitamin C over here or any, oh, let's talk about the multi, because we talked about that. Yeah. If you had to pick a multivitamin over here, which one of these multivitamins would you pick? So again, you're looking for, the secret with a multivitamin, you're looking for a food grade. New chapter has been an old, good brand. You know, you got Garden of Life, which again is being sold here soon, but it still is a good, good quality right now. What do you um, think about the Alive? Alive has been a good, is, is excellent as well. It's it's coming from it's coming from uh, the food source. This is for men. But I don't see a woman's, but that would be if they could find this in a um, for the vitamin. That would be excellent. I don't see it though, but I love this brand. There's only one of these that I like, um, flavor-wise. Really? I like, yeah, oh, I really, I yeah. love the Cosmic Cranberry. The rest of them I don't love. You like the so, ginger, tried the ginger one? I haven't, I haven't no, tried, I tried it. That one. Is it good? It's really good. All right. The ginger kombucha is excellent, I love that one. Okay, um, I'll get it. That's my afternoon snack once in a while. I'll do one of these. And But it's you're filling. really only, I thought you said you were only drinking half of that. I am half, or sometimes I will do a whole one, but I mean, it's it's filling. It's if very, you're getting very crazy. Filling. Yeah, if I'm getting a little wild. <laughs> this is also a good brand, too. It's the apple cider vinegar uh -huh. one. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's talk about some of the, the hair care products. We talked about your skin being your largest organ. organ. Um, and even toothpaste, I will tell you, I love this brand right here, this Dr. Bronner's. I do. I love this brand. I love this toothpaste right here. This cinnamon one is, is great. Um, I really like. That's good. I love their soap. You're right. Their soap, their everything is really good. Their soap is amazing. Yeah. I don't see the other ones, but they're all, I mean, in my personal opinion, I'm going to watch out for the fluoride. I know some dentists will think I'm nuts, but fluoride in its natural state is very healing and healthy for you, but not in synthetic form. Okay, so I'm not, so just picking a natural toothpaste, um, deodorant even. So the key is find one that's fluoride free. Yes, that's it. Absolutely. And that this says 70% organic. That's about as good as you're yeah, getting yeah, on so toothpaste. True. That's so true. So here's my favorite. Um, I use that too. Yeah. This this one or this one, the purple or the blue, are my absolute favorite soaps. Yes. I try to get like a the big ones, um, and this one's on sale for 6.99. But you can you can get a it a little Big bit one. cheaper somewhere yeah. else, I think. Um, now, talk about the difference between magnesium chloride flakes 
and Epsom salt. So you are a big time into taking Epsom a bath salt. in the Epsom bath. I am. The Epsom there's no salt difference bath. really. It's just that there's, there's, it's still just salt. Um, they're both. That's what you're doing is you're, when you're taking an Epsom salts bath, you're doing like magnesium soap basically, and you reap the benefits for up to three days. So people who are in chronic pain, uh, achy joints, working out too much, try doing Epsom salts at least every three to four days, and you'll see a difference. Um, I love. I, I do. A, I we spend a lot of a lot of money on salts. And thank a goodness, lot of usually. money because if you think about it, like this bag right here is four seventy nine, and that's. If you're going to use the whole bag, so when you're taking a bath, you have to which say, I guys, take a bath every night, you can go to CVS and buy the salts there. But yes, we're not a lot the same, they're, they're the same. It's the same salt. Yeah. Shampoo exactly. and things, guys. I love my shampoo here. Oh, uh, let's talk about the shampoo yes. for just a second. So I will get. Which shampoo do you I love, love? I love this line. I've been very much um, into these. My whole family's doing a lot of these. I'm doing these. This is a good brand as well, and I love those. Which is a big thing. I it mean, is. people don't realize how, I mean, again, it's your largest organ yeah. and you're putting this kind of chemical city all over your face. So I've been like, use, I, will use, I use this this morning. It's nail polish remover. Uh -huh. And then I, I actually, the, the nail polish I love. I do this all the time. I will use this blush. All these things are without the harmful. What about this foundation? I don't use this, this is, a great, this is a great brand, but I don't use the foundation. I don't use foundation, but I use the little foundation sticks. These are good mm -hmm. under the eyes and things. So mm -hmm. I definitely would consider just trying a couple things once in a while. You don't Perfect. have to completely overhaul everything. Think about your lipstick though. You're literally, if you're, in, you're ingesting your lipstick because you're thinking about licking, licking your lips. So think about making sure That's it's organic. That's a great point. Organic. Let's go okay. right back over to the cheese. I know okay. you're not a big dairy fan. I'm not a big dairy fan, but when you just go, you know what, I have to have a little cheese. Bit of cheese. Um, what if you've got to have it what would you pick yeah with this cheese over here if you were going to pick a cheese what would you pick well let's see making sure you're doing um you're looking i mean a cheese i would really look at doing organic i really would again that's it's my big my big number one plea if you're going to do dairy then do organic um and do you think it makes a big difference if you're doing goat cheese versus I cow's like, milk? I do like, I much. Uh, it's much better digestion doing uh, goat's milk than the cow's milk. Cow's dairy is hard to digest, I and mean, even more so than, than the goat's cheese. So if you're going to pick one cheese, do organic goat cheese. A little bit of feta okay. cheese would be okay. All right. Okay. Well, I think we're good. Now the last thing to do okay. is to see how much all this is going <laughs> to cost us. I know. Right? Is there anything here that we haven't, that you eat on a regular basis that we haven't shown you already? Uh, you know, in a pinch, I'll go up to the front and get the rotisserie, organic rotisserie chicken. Mm. And I will eat that on my salad or I'll cut it up for chicken salalad. Uh -huh. That's a good snack or a good dinner thing. Uh -huh. I do that in a pinch if I'm in a rush, which all That's of us great. are, you know, we've got, we're busy. Yeah, you know? yes, so, absolutely. Happens. Yeah. Awesome. So right now, they look like they are pretty the free. Few left. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, Jen, this has been amazing. Thank you so much for coming and showing us all of your wisdom. This has been awesome. I love it. And thank you guys. And if you want more detailed information, please, Jen, one more time, tell your website. It is www.anconcepts.com. And we're going to put those, we're going to put a few recipes under things we like. I'll have you email me a few recipes uh -huh. that you love. And some brands And possibly, just go to, yeah, some different yeah. brands you love. Yeah. And go to ChantelRayWay.com under things we like. All yes. right. See you later. Bye. Have a great one.